cruise passengers stranded in Africa, and I'll give you some updates on the channel and what's going on with me, and uh, we'll talk all about it right after this. Hey guys, it's Mike here, and uh, back again with another cruise news vlog, if you will. And, uh, you know, this this is a story, this story here that I'm going to talk about is uh, everybody and their brothers uh, covered it. You know, it's basically these uh, cruise passengers that were on an NCL ship and stopped off at uh, an island off the coast of Africa and ended up getting stranded. Uh, so I'm going to give my opinions on that and then uh, stick around uh, because after that I will give you an update on uh, what's going on with me, what's going on with the channel, and what we got in store for you guys uh, uh, moving forward. But, uh, but without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this story. So, you know, I'm kind of late to the party, I guess, on this. Uh, pretty much everybody else has covered it. Uh, uh, I've been kind of out of the loop a little bit uh, with what's going on in uh, cruise news, if you will. Uh, but I did see this story, and it's it's actually spurred a lot of conversation uh, in regards to uh, you know this whole uh, thing about excursions, you know, and and, uh, and so uh, for those of the for those of you that may not know, uh, when you go on a cruise, you're going to hit certain ports during that cruise and every time you hit a port uh, there will you know you'll have an opportunity to book uh, excursions and basically these are like tours you know so for example uh, if you pull into Cozumel you know they may they may offer some excursions for uh, tequila tasting or or you may be able to go over to a uh, all-inclusive resort you know and hang out at the beach uh, but you can either book these excursions or tours, if you will, uh, through the cruise line, or there's all these, there's a lot of third party websites and, uh, that you can go through to book it ahead of time, or, you know, even the day of, uh, at, when you pull into the port and you get off the ship, a lot of times they'll have folks, uh, from these different, uh, local tour companies, uh, offering you different tours, you know. So, but I guess the main thing to keep in mind about this is if you book the cruise or if you book the excursion through the cruise line, then if it's if the tour is running late uh, getting back to the ship, then the cruise line will more than likely wait for you, uh, or or they'll make they'll make some arrangements to get you back on the ship at a future port or something like that. You won't have to come out of pocket for that you know, you'll be, you know, covered. Uh, if you don't do it that way and you go third party, uh, if you book it the day of when you get into port, then the cruise line is under no obligation to work with you at all to get to, to allow you back on, on the ship or make any kind of arrangements. Uh, you're, you know, what they'll do is they will turn your passports uh, you know, it, provided that you left your passports on the ship and they're in your cabin, they will send somebody in there and they will retrieve those passports, turn them over to the local uh, port authorities, and then you'll retrieve those from them and then you can make your arrangements to either return to the United States or try to meet the ship at a, at a future port. Uh, but you're kind of on your own on that. And so I know from my own experience, uh, there's only been a couple times that I have booked a, an excursion uh, third party and uh, both times I believe it was in Cozumel and it, it both well actually once was in Jamaica and once was in Cozumel and both of those were all-inclusive resorts and they were at locations where I knew that I would be able to grab a taxi at my own expense and get back to the ship if if necessary. Uh, luckily, things that you know things didn't play out to where I needed to go that far with it. But uh, you know, both of those. But I knew I knew going in when I booked those that I was running that risk. 
And that's the risk I accepted. And you know what? It worked out for me. I didn't get, obviously I wasn't late getting back to the ship. I, I didn't, didn't get left behind or anything. Um, but that's, that's, you know, you, you kind of have to think about those things, you know. Now I wouldn't, I don't think I would go third party uh, book an excursion that was going to take me like an hour away from the ship or something like that. If it was something close by and I knew I could grab a taxi and get back to the ship on my own pretty easily, perhaps I might consider it. Uh, but, you know, returning to the situation with the uh, these folks that went on the NCL ship and they got left behind on, uh, off the coast of Africa, you know, these folks, they, they booked it third party. And so because of that, they're running that risk, you know, and I don't know if they, these folks did a lot of research beforehand. Uh, I'm not sure how familiar they were, but like I say, when the ship puts out a B back at this time, uh, and, and you're not back, they, if, like I said, if you're, if you did, if you didn't book it through the cruise line, then they're, they're under no obligation to, to work with you at all. And so that's what it sounds like what happened here. Um, so I'm not going to fault, you know, I can't fault the cruise line for leaving uh, at the appointed time. Now, uh, it does sound like there was some of the passengers had worked with the, the, uh, the I saw one news report where they actually worked with the local Coast Guard and the Coast Guard was trying to make arrangements to put them on a boat and get them out to the ship and get them back on uh, the cruise ship, you know, so they can continue on. And what they were saying is that, you know, either the cruise line didn't respond to that or they just flat out denied. Uh, now that's, that's the only area where I would, I would fault the cruise line or I would have some kind of, some kind of heartburn with the cruise line because yes, we all understand that, uh, you know, if you're, if they're supposed to be there at a certain time and you're not there, then the cruise ship's going to leave. But if the, if the passengers made the effort and the local government was 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 doing their best to try to get them back on the ship and the cruise line denied them that, I think I would have a problem with that because yes, these these rules are out there for a reason. They don't want people abusing the the port, you know, the be back on board times. But at the same time, I think, you know, if passengers are doing their best to to get back on the ship, they're doing everything in their power. You know, maybe maybe they had this. They didn't book it through the cruise line. I still say that the cruise line should have, at that point, said, "Okay, hey, we'll hang back a little bit. If you can, if you can meet us here in a couple minutes, we'll we'll let them on board." I think that would have been the reasonable solution for that. Uh, I don't think it's unreasonable. I mean, you know, I spent 20 years in the Navy, and. It, we were the same way. The Navy was the same way. Uh, you had to be on the ship at a certain uh, time. If you were late, the ship left. And and not only that, but you you know you would get charged. You would face disciplinary uh, charges uh, for that. But at the same time, if if the ship was supposed to leave at eight o'clock in the morning and I was late, but let's say I got there five or ten minutes. Uh, after that, and I could see that the ship was in sight, I could see it pulling away, uh, you know, I could jump on a tug and go get back on the ship, you know. So if the United States Navy can make that concession, then I don't see any reason why the cruise lines can't make that concession. That's just my opinion. I know it's probably going to be unpopular. I know a lot of people are going to hit me up in the comments, but... Hey, that's just my opinion. That's the way I feel about it. Uh, you know, but hey, let me know in the comments what you think about that. Let me know how, if I'm wrong, if I'm totally out of line. But, uh, you know, let, let me know. Uh, and so that's the end of that story. All right. Well, uh, just to let you know, uh, I was out of, out of the loop, out of action, if you will, for a little while. Uh, I sold my house and then I purchased a new house and course you know anytime you do that you got to pack all your stuff up you got movers involved so 
you know, my little uh, studio slash office, if you will, uh, it all got packed up. It was all in storage for a while, so that's why I wasn't really putting out content for about a month or so. Uh, but I got moved, all my stuff, I've been reunited with all my belongings, and I'm trying to get everything back, back the way it was. So you can expect more content coming out. And uh, I think some of you probably noticed that the channel name changed. It used to be Cruise Bed Adventures, and now it is VentureCast. And so you're probably wondering, hey, you know, why, why the name change? Well, there's some reasons for it. You know, I was never 100% happy with the Cruise Bed Adventures name. Uh, you know, uh, initially it was Cruise Bed, and then it changed to Cruise Bed Adventures. But uh, I don't know, it just it never really rang true for me. Um, so I changed it to VentureCast. And I think the other reason for that is, uh, you know, with Cruise Bed Adventures, it seemed like I was kind of cruise centric. You know, I was kind of pigeonholed into one category of, of, of YouTubing, if you will. I think VentureCast opens, it up, opens up the door for uh, just travel in general and and that's actually more along the lines of what i wanted to reflect because moving forward you know uh, i'm going to try to implement some some land travel you know i've got some things in the works i'm looking at uh booking a a, a trip to thailand this summer and um you know, I think I think the the name kind of will, will reflect that. I, and I'm not getting away from cruising altogether. Uh, I will still go on cruises, but I want to implement land trips. I want to do all I want to do all kinds of traveling. That's that's kind of my thing. That's kind of what I wanted this to be uh, all along. And so you can expect to see uh, some some new different types of content. Still going to do the cruise vlogs. Still going to do. Uh, you know, cruise videos, so I won't, I won't neglect uh, that crowd. Uh, but you know, just trying to broaden the horizons a little bit, and uh, hopefully, you know, you'll get some some useful information out of it. Uh, but uh, you know, let me know in the comments what you think about that. You think it's a bad idea? You think it's a good idea? But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, as always, uh, consider hitting the thumbs up on the way out. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. It's 100% uh, free, helps the channel grow, and uh, I always appreciate uh, anybody that watches, subscribes, likes, shares, comments. And with that, I will say, uh, hope you're having a great day. Hope you're enjoying whatever it is you're doing, and I will see you on the next video. Take care, everybody.